Hi, I'm Sam Castor, and today's video is designed to take a closer look at the science of Ace Manning. Ace Manning is the bioactive molecule from the aloe vera plant that is responsible for its rich history as the most recognizable plant on the planet for health and healing. You know, Ace Manin is the cornerstone of ancient medicine in every culture of the world because there was something in the fresh gel of the aloe vera plant that caused an immune response unlike anything else that existed in nature. And uh, actually, no one ever knew what this molecule was until the 1980s. And in 1985, a group of investors went to Southwestern Medical School with a project. Southwestern is located here in Dallas. And they said there's something in the fresh gel of aloe vera that causes an unprecedented immune response. We've never seen anything like it in medicine, anything like it in nature. The problem is whatever that activity is, is labile, which means that within 24 hours of picking the leaf, that activity in the gel is completely denatured. It's gone. So here's the opportunity. If we can discover the molecular structure of what is causing that effect, and if we can stabilize it, then we can file patents on that stabilization process. And if we can file patents, then we can commercialize it in modern medicine. And so a group of research pharmacologists from Southwestern Medical School broke down the aloe gel and discovered that the activity was coming from a polysaccharide. Uh, they named it ACE mannin. It's a highly dispersed beta-1,4 acetylated polymannin with an average molecular weight of one to two million Daltons. What does that mean? Well, a polysaccharide is a long chain sugar. And uh, these sugars just naturally occur in the gel in a wide variety of molecular weights. There's a little bitty short chain molecules of ace mannin, there's medium chain, and of course there's extremely long chains. These polysaccharides are made up predominantly of an individual monosaccharide or sugar called mannose. Now, you may have never heard of mannose, but mannose is essential to the proper structure and function of every cell in the human body. And so these polysaccharides were stabilized and a company called Carrington Labs was created to commercialize this discovery. It was a publicly traded company. They raised hundreds of millions of dollars. They did file for and were issued over 130 worldwide patents on the stabilization process of ACE Manning in its various uses in healthcare. They spent over $100 million just on the research alone defining the mechanisms of action of ACE Manning in human physiology, which generated over 700 peer-reviewed published articles on the ACE Manning molecule. It's actually one of the most researched molecules in nature. And the mechanisms of action that were defined by this research fall into three categories. Number one, the structure and function of our cells. Number two, improved gut health. And number three, how it optimizes the immune system's functions of defense and repair. And these three categories of mechanisms were all linked directly to the molecular weight or the size of the ACE Manning molecule. Now, almost everything that I'm going to talk to you about today is reported in this book called The Science Behind Aloe. This book is actually a meta-analysis of hundreds of peer-reviewed published studies on ACE Manin. So uh, the meta-analysis gives the source of all the science and the mechanisms of action of ACE Manin that are listed in this book fall into these categories. First, the support for proper cell-to-cell -cell communication. How does ACE Manin support that? How does it support improved gut health? How does ACE Manin enhance topical wound healing? How does it support the immune system's ability to identify and destroy aberrant, like cancer cells, and invading pathogens like viruses, bacteria, and fungi through what is called macrophage activation? But let's start with the short chains. The short chains support structure function. Short chains of mannose are pumped directly into the bloodstream and are necessary for the production of cellular words called glycoproteins. So off the surface of every cell in your body are these structures. 
that transfer biological data. Immune cells come along and read these cell surface sugar structures called glycans in order to determine if the cell is healthy, if it needs repair, or if it needs to be destroyed. This is critical in the ability of the immune system to identify, you know, diseased cells. So these glycan structures, which are pictured on the cover of Science Magazine, are involved in every major disease process. And when cells turn against the body as in degenerative and autoimmune type functions, research has shown that sugars are missing from these glycoprotein or glycan structures. Now let's talk about the long chain molecules and how they support proper gut health. Long chain ACE man and polysaccharides provide a good source of prebiotic fiber nourishment to friendly bacteria. Only unlike other forms of fiber, long chain ACE man and polysaccharides can be converted into short chain fatty acids by the fermentation process of friendly bacteria. Short chain fatty acids help support the growth of healthy epithelial cells that line the gut as well as support overall colonic health. You know, gut diseases like Crohn's, colitis, irritable bowel syndrome are all consistent with a deficiency of short chain fatty acids. So this is a critical support mechanism of ACE manning in the human body. But now let's talk about the medium chain ACE manning molecules that, because those are the ones that provide the advanced immune system support, which is generally the main mechanism of action that people are looking for when they ingest ACE manning. So the mechanism of action is that ACE manning activates what is called the macrophage. The macrophage is the large white blood cell in the immune system that orchestrates all of the immunomodulatory effects of the immune system. Macrophages are large white blood cells made in the bone marrow. They regulate immunomodulatory functions of the immune system. They provide defense against viral and bacterial infections, and they serve to detect, eliminate any foreign antigens and microorganisms. Macrophages are activated by medium chain ACE man in fractions. Let me just show you why that occurs. Typically, when pathogens enter the body, and pathogens are, can be viruses, bacteria, fungi, their job is to get into the body and live and proliferate. The human immune system is designed to recognize those pathogens and destroy them before infection sets in. So on the very front line of defense are two defense molecules called macrophages and dendritic cells. They're called phagocytes. They recognize these invaders and engulf and destroy them. How do they determine a pathogen from a healthy cell? Well, viruses, bacteria, fungi, all pathogens express this little sugar called mannose on the ends of their glycan structures. Healthy cells in the body never express terminal mannose on the ends of their glycan structures. So when the macrophage sees a cell or an organism that is expressing mannose, it goes into high activity and it starts rounding up all the functions of the immune system to be on alert and to help actually fight and destroy these pathogens. The same thing happens with the dendritic cells. In the case of aberrant cells or disease cells, it's the same thing. Disease cells also express mannose on the ends of their glycan structures, which help the macrophage and the dendritic cells identify this is a cell that doesn't belong in the human body. Actually, dead cells express the same thing, mannose on the ends of their glycan structures. You see the little legend down at the bottom left, it shows the individual mannose molecule, monosaccharide. Well, ACE mannin is a small chain of these that basically stimulates the same response. So you see on the macrophage and the, and the dendritic cells that there are mannose receptors. And that's how they recognize pathogens, that's how they recognize aberrant cells, and that's how they recognize ACE mannin. So ACE mannin has one of the most unique activation mechanisms of any plant-based ingredient uh, known to mankind. 
I'm going to address this. It's called cytokine storms because of the environment uh, that we found ourselves in with a viral pandemic that is going on around the world. One of the reasons that people have such a severe response to viral infections is what is called a cytokine storm. Cytokines are immune cells. They're like soldiers of our immune system to help coordinate the immune system's pro-inflammatory responses to infections. So the macrophage sends out messages that come and help create inflammation which triggers an immune response. Cytokine storms happen when these functions of inflammatory response don't downregulate appropriately. So that's a compromised immune system that causes that. This can result in a systemic inflammatory attack on your glands and organs known as cespus that can result in death. So the question is, does activating the macrophage or activating the dendritic cells of your immune system, could it contribute to a cytokine storm? Well, actually in the book, The Science of Aloe, it shows how it just the opposite effect is created. Activated macrophages are deeply involved in self-regulated immunomodulation, which means an activated macrophage both properly upregulates and downregulates cytokines. Dendritic cell activation produces a cocktail of both pro and anti-inflammatory cytokines that are necessary to keep the balance of your immune system's responses to infections. So as you can see, activating the macrophage, activating dendritic cells is essential for protecting against the cytokine storms. Well, there's been a lot of research on ACE Manin, and these are sort of the highlights of some of those research findings. We know that ACE Manin enhances the production of macrophages as much as tenfold. In other words, activated macrophages produce more macrophages. It also enhances stem cell production in the body three to 400%. ACE Manin increases wound healing immune functions by up to 400%. ACE Manin supports the antiviral, antifungal, and antibacterial defenses of the immune system. ACE Manin aids in the absorption of nutrients and water in the GI tract. ACE Manin supports proper cognitive function. And ACE Manin increases the body's production of glutathione by up to 50% and significantly lowers its depletion rate. Why is that important? because glutathione is the most important antioxidant that your body makes. Dr. Santiago Rodriguez, a PhD in organic chemistry, was hired by Carrington Labs to develop the unique processes uh, for stabilizing ACE Manin and commercializing the first stabilized ACE Manin products in the healthcare industry. A couple of the products that were created by Dr. Rodriguez, a product called Kerosene Wound Gel, it was advanced topical wound cares that was approved for the treatment of severe burns, for non-healing diabetic ulcers, and for all types of open wounds. Why? Because Ace Manin accelerates topical wound healing. Another product he made was Ace Manin Immunostimulant. This product was approved by the USDA for the treatment of fibrosarcoma tumors in dogs and cats, as well as a variety of other types of cancers. But in 1993, Dr. Rodriguez developed the first stabilized ACE Manin dietary supplement for humans. It turns out that for humans, the best way to activate the immune system is to swallow ACE Manin because 70 to 80 percent of our immune systems are housed in our gut. So for the immune system to come in contact with ACE Manin, you have to swallow it. In 1999, Mana Relief, an international relief organization, was created to exclusively distribute ACE Manin to the world's most medically fragile, vulnerable children. Over the next 30 years, not much changed in stabilizing ACE Manin. Uh, but in 2005, this peer-reviewed paper was published. It was called The Identification of the Optimal Molecular Size of Modified allopolysaccharides with maximum immunomodulatory activity. And so, in effect, science discovered ACE Manin's sweet spot. We knew that somewhere between the real long chains and the short chains, 
this activity of activating macrophages actually was occurring. We didn't know which molecular weights actually caused that effect. But as it says in this report, we found that polysaccharides between 50,000 and 400,000 Daltons exhibit the most potent macrophage activating activity. And polysaccharides below 50,000 and above 400,000 Daltons showed minimal immune activating results. Now, they're all good and beneficial, but we're looking for immune activation. So Dr. Rodriguez took his original patented product back into the lab and analyzed it. 10% of his product called Manipole was ace manin. The other 90% were all the other constituencies that naturally occur in the aloe vera gel. Of that 10% ace manin, 40% of it fell into this category of immune activating ace manin. So he thought, I think I can improve that. And he developed a brand new technology that first of all doubled the amount of ace manin per gram from 10% to 20%. But look at the green bar. He actually enhanced the immune activating fractions to 18% per gram, which meant he got a four and a half times higher level of immune activating fractions per gram that he had in his original product. And he donated that technology exclusively to Manor Relief and their activities of going around the world and meeting the needs of vulnerable children. And now Manor Relief is sharing that technology with the Hope Movement in products like Alavea Immune and Alavea Hope Pops so that for the first time we can take this most advanced form of immune activation to the world to impact the world. And I'm just going to close with this. Uh, you know, when I first started with Ace Man and Technology over 20 years ago, there was a huge chasm between medical research and the research on nutrients. Medicine was on one planet, nutrition was on another. But that has now come full circle. Because what researchers has determined is the most important mechanism for supporting the healing mechanisms of the human body is called the human immune system. And the better job the immune system does, the better effect that medical therapy has on recovery processes. In fact, there's a brand new research initiative in cancer research called immunotherapy. Immunotherapy is basically looking at how does the immune system identify and kill cancer cells. And it's working to support those mechanisms of action by doing things like monocloning antibodies that are necessary to attach to cancer cells and help the immune system identify and kill them. But immunotherapy also needs a good functioning immune system to actually maximize its effect in human physiology. And so we're working with uh, a Dr. Rene Herte that is specifically using our new ACE man and technology in her research. And this is a quote that she has recently released. It says, our search for the most scientifically advanced technologies for optimal immune system support has led us to aloe vera. Uh, their unique immune activating aloe vera ACE man and technology represents the best science that I found for immune system support and provides us with an unprecedented integrative health strategy for maximizing the benefits of immunotherapy. Well, hopefully this presentation has given you a better perspective on the actual science that supports our claim that ACE Manin is the best immune supporting technology and the best health building technology that exists in the market today.